This is live from Broadcast Square, a public affairs presentation of Seward County Broadcasting and Talk Radio 1270. Your phone calls concerning today's show are appreciated. Now, live from Broadcast Square. And good morning. Welcome to Live from Broadcast Square, Talk Radio 1270 for this Monday morning. Uh, we're looking at October the 5th. My name is Joe Denoy, your host of the show. And in the studios with us from TCEC, we do have Julianne Graham. Good morning. Good morning. And from PTCI, we have Elizabeth Brown. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you? First time on the radio for you here in Liberal anyway? That's correct. Okay. Yes. Awesome. So uh, we were talking just right before we came on the air about pumpkins and pumpkins in the park at Thompson Park. It was a great event. I uh, don't know what 2021 will bring, but but for 2020, things are going to be a little bit different. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how things are going to look and what uh, you can do in lieu of and possibly win a gift certificate. Yes. So what uh, COVID shut pretty much things down for the pumpkin? COVID gave us lemons and we're making lemonade. And there you go. So we are replacing. Don't forget the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> we are replacing pumpkins at the park for this year only at this time with a co-ops care initiative. Yes, and uh, this co-ops care initiative will actually benefit 100 of our local businesses in the cooperative service areas of both TCEC and PTCI. So that means we have 100 gifts, gift cards or gift certificates to these local businesses that 100 of our members or customers can enter to win. Okay. And those gift cards in, are in the amount of $50 each to each business. So it's a great way to give back to our members and our local businesses who may have had a tough time recently because of the pandemic. So. You bet. Any, if at any time you need to shop as local as possible, but now through this tough time, it's even more important to, to shop local and keep as many dollars local as possible. And this is a way uh, 100 businesses... Fifty dollar gift cards, talking five grand, correct? Yes. <laughs> so yes. that's that's probably in the neighborhood of what you spent, if not more than what you spent with the pumpkins in the park, because you did hot dogs and everything else along those lines too. Yeah. So we tried to stick close to the pumpkins at the park budget, and this is something that we're able to do because we're cooperative. So there are two cooperative principles at play. Okay. Cooperation among cooperatives. That's PTCI and TCEC. We're completely separate entities, but we come together because we share the same values, the mm -hmm. same universal principles. And then we have concern for community. So this really highlights that principle and uh, really gives back to our our local businesses, for one, and then the, the people in the area as well. Okay. All right. So uh, this is not a one-day event. Pumpkins in the Park was one and done. Okay. And if you had to work late or something, you might have missed out. You have until, from, what, now until the end of October, the 29th, to register to win one of these gift cards? Yes. You, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. So go ahead and, and go to care.coop, and there's a little short form that you just enter to win. You can put your name and your phone number, and once you do that, you can do that once a day through October 29th. And on Fridays, we will draw 25 winners. So our first uh, Friday, October 9th, we will draw 25 winners and contact them and then announce them throughout the following week. And so it breaks down, you know, for the remaining four Fridays in October, we'll be announcing winners. Okay. Now, are these just for co-op members of TCEC? And how does that work with PTCI? Because you, you have a wide uh, array of services that you offer at PTCI. So our cooperative service area is um, throughout the Oklahoma Panhandle, and then it goes into Laverne, Oklahoma. Okay. So most of our TCEC and PTCI service areas are the same. The difference is they have Elkhart, Kansas for TCEC, and we have Laverne, Oklahoma for PTCI. Okay. So anybody that is a member of the co-ops can uh, register. We actually opened it up a little bit, Joe. We said okay. that those members need to live in the cooperative service area of either PTCI or TCEC because okay. not everyone who lives in our area pays is on the electric bill. So if we limited it to members, we might be excluding a spouse or okay. um, a, a, somebody who doesn't have their name on their account, even though they live in our service area. So we thought... As long as they're over 18 and they only win once, they're eligible. And okay. we did exclude our employees, contractors, and those in their households. I, that's something here at the radio station that uh, 
uh, my wife and kids are like, why can't we ever register? <laughs> it's because you, dad works here. <laughs> so, And we want to be able to give back as much as possible to the communities. And TCEC and PTCI are pretty large employers. So that makes us able to give back more to our community mm-hmm. members. Now, this isn't the first time that you guys have partnered on things. I know this would have been, the what, the fifth year for Pumpkins in the Park? So, and then there's been other things that I've noticed throughout the years as well that you've partnered with in giving back to communities and schools also. So, um, co-op cares. Yes. um, Anyway, uh, let's take a short break. We'll be right back with more. So stay tuned. You're listening to Live from Broadcast Square. And good morning. Welcome back to Live from Broadcast Square, Talk Radio 1270, visiting with Elizabeth Brown and Julianne Graham of Co-Ops Cares, TCEC and PTCI, uh, October Co-Op Month, member giveaways. Uh, let's kind of walk through how this is going to work. You're going to draw this Friday, October the 9th, will be the first drawing, correct? Uh, 25 names? Correct. Okay. Then once their name is drawn, how will they find out? And then let's talk about the businesses and the gift certificates, how that's going to work. Well, as you know, the the form is simple. They enter their phone number twice and the word care to be eligible to win. So we will, our staff will call those 25 winners as in the order they were pulled and they will get to go to care.coop and look at the list of gift cards. They are from throughout our service territory, Guymon, Laverne, Elkhart, Boise City, Texoma. We tried to go to businesses throughout both of our service territories, as Elizabeth said, and the member gets to choose their gift card so that hopefully they'll pick one they can use. Okay. All right. And then um, once that has been picked, that business has been crossed off, they may have multiple gift certificates, right? So they may have like two or three from... I'll just say, you know, the the flower shop there in Guymon. Um, but once they're gone, they're gone. And then you move on down the line. And will they come off the website as well once those have been chosen? We will mark the winner's name next to the okay. business. So that will indicate that it's been given away. Okay. Because we felt like we should publish the names of the winners. Right. Okay. All right. And... Um, do you want to run through some of the businesses maybe that uh, that are eligible or that people could possibly win a gift certificate to? Absolutely. So if you live in Boise City, for instance, maybe you want to go to Stockman's Feed Bunk mm-hmm. and get some supplies. Or if you're hungry for some good food, we've got a gift certificate from the taco shop in Guymon. Uh, I've heard that's pretty it's amazing. It's tasty. <laughs> Absolutely. Julianne, what do you have? Well, Joe mentioned the flower company. Fish and Hitch Flower Company is one of our Co-op Connections businesses, and they are for TCEC. And so they were selected to have a gift card, and they're of Guymon. You've got Eddie's Steaks and Seafood and the Pub on the Bricks. We have gift cards to those. And we chose the grocery stores, too. Um, There's Carter's Country Market there in Guymon, and then Downing's and uh, I think Downing's is in Beaver, and then mm-hmm. Moore's is in Elkhart and Boyce City. Right. And okay. So. Who yeah. can't use groceries? <laughs> yes, absolutely. We've got some nail places like um, L.A. Nails and Guyman, and then it, we've got Linda's Flower Shop also in Hooker. So we've got places scattered throughout, even the OPSU bookstore in Goodwill. Okay. Use some uh, Aggie. Aggie gear, Aggie yeah, gear, yeah, to cheer so, on the football team, baseball I, team. Or am I seeing a hardware store anywhere? Some, some, you know, I need, I need a new Makita drill or a, <laughs> uh, you know. Absolutely, we've got Hooker Hardware. Um, we've also got Beaver Supply. I, I'm not mm-hmm. sure if that's. Um, yeah, they sell all kinds of things there at Beaver Supply. And I know you said Hooker Hardware. I know we have B and B Sales as okay. well. Yes, that's in Guyman. Mm-hmm. And then we've got uh, Beaver Feed also in Beaver, Oklahoma, if you need some supplies, some dog food. Mm-hmm. And we have Elkhart True Value Lumber. So uh, we really, um, and if you need coffee, there's Urban Brew. That's always one of my favorite. And Golden Crown gift mm-hmm. certificates are on the list. So Helm's Garden Shop is there. New Oyster Tierra, the, um, also the grocery store in Guymon. So we've got a little bit of everything for okay. everyone to just head on over to Co-ops care or care dot co-op. <laughs> care dot co-op. <laughs> I remember that phone number twice, correct? Correct. Yes, okay. just for validation purposes. All right, just to make sure that you that you are there. Uh, let's just jump back to Urban Brew. They have four, four locations now, I believe. Goodwill, 
and yes. they've got the Urban Brew Kitchen, and they've got uh, I think they've got uh, the Golden Crown and and something. And, and then the, the main location. Yes. In so uh, I'm probably good at either one of those locations. You have to talk to Susan or Dr. Barrius on those. But uh, but I'm sure this is going to be a huge hit, and uh, I'm hoping listeners are signing up as we're speaking right now. What about uh, TCEC? Do you have our, can they do you have a gift certificate or PTCI that I could use towards my utility bill or to per- upgrade on a cell service well, or, or a phone? We actually talked about doing that, but we wanted to maximize um, our local businesses okay. and give back to them. So we withheld putting ourselves on there for gift certificates just so that we can give back to our local businesses more and, and give them some more business. Okay. All right. Um, I know Pumpkin at the Park had a lot to do with, with the kids and the pumpkin, the decorating, and of course hot dogs, things like that. Uh, looking at maybe doing something, coloring contest, anything like that online for the kids? You know, that might be a fun idea, Joe. We <laughs> hadn't actually gotten that far. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know, I'm just making you work a little harder. Uh, so. We like that. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, the kids love that pumpkin in the, in the park. Everybody loved pumpkins. I, if I'd have got off work early enough, I would have come to pumpkins in the park. But uh, this was a fun su- event. It far surpassed our expectations for the popularity of it. When I, the, the first year we thought, oh, we don't know how many people we'll get, and we had – probably double what we planned for yeah. so we miss it and but we're glad you invited us on your show today to talk about this initiative because we do want all of our members to take part in it oh yeah as many members as possible and and it's great that you're supporting local through the local business gift certificates uh and i know you've done that with the, the co-op connections also and does PTCI do co-op connections also? We are a partner. Oh, okay. We are actually one of the businesses on TCEC's co-op connections. So okay. uh, you can head on into PTCI and get a little discount on any accessories or, you know, phone charge cables. We've got some extra long ones if you need one of those. <laughs> those with, I'm telling you, with kids, those things just don't. First, if you can find them with kids, with teenagers, <laughs> uh, they do something to the ends that they just don't stay connected. So I'm constantly replacing charging cables. I'll uh, talk to you a little bit about that later. Okay, yes, please do. For you. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm just, it's like I'm sitting here, it's not, well, the phone's not well because it's like fell out of the, fell out of the deal. So <laughs> we're going to get some tips on that. I, I can't <laughs> wait for that. I'm looking forward to that right now. All right, and Co-op Connections, is PTCI this month's Co-op Connection business? Actually, um, this month's business you put me on the spot, We're Joe. I think it's Stockman's Feed Bunk, isn't it? Okay. Yes. Right. You can go to tcec.coop to find out more about yes. that. And, and then, of course, uh, shop at all the local businesses uh, with the co-op connections all over the country, whether it's hotel Certainly. stays, whether it's restaurants, uh, or even local. You can save. And then uh, I love what you've, you've changed that up even to where – it's just not a, a, a lunch and you're in, you're out. It's all month long where you can register for that uh, gift gift certificate as well. Correct. So, but, uh, and Christmas is coming. So uh, take a look at these businesses. <laughs> I'm not going to say shh. So these are great. These are great little, I'm going to find a little business here and do some Christmas shopping at one of these. Just remember your local businesses. And, you know, yeah. if you're lucky enough to win one of these gift cards, maybe that'll help you out with your shopping a little. We, we are eagerly anticipating Halloween and Christmas, I say, shush, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's when you, you walk into a store and um, the uh, uh, north end of the store is Halloween and fall and Thanksgiving, and then you go to the south side of the store and it's, it's Merry Christmas all over again. It's like, how, do you, how do you not shop for Christmas this early when it's right there in front of you? I get in trouble all the time because of that. <laughs> so, But this will be a fun way, like you said, to start early Christmas shopping. I mean... If you get if you win, it's a free fifty dollars that you can use for Christmas shopping. And a lot of these stores offer a, a variety of items, something for everybody in the family, probably. So, Absolutely. anything else? Go ahead and re- how do they register again? You visit care dot coop. That is c a r e dot c o o p. So be sure to to visit that site. Visit it every day. We just ask one per twenty four hours. Okay. And then for Friday, what is the cutoff day, uh, cutoff time before you say, okay, no more. We're going to draw on Friday at this time. You have to have your entries in by such and such date, or they'll go on to the next. I think our time stamp is just at midnight the day before. Okay. So that next day will start the new fresh okay. uh, batch. So just because you didn't make it in that day, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you're getting in once per day. Um, your chances will be just as good. And the people from the, the first of the month stay in through the end of the month. We okay. just don't let anyone win more than once. Okay. You can only win once. 
uh, how can you register more than once? Or does it automatically say you've already registered, you're out, you're done? I think our system just automatically pulls duplicates out. Okay. So um, you, if you accidentally register twice or uh, forget that you've done it or whatever, it, it won't disqualify you. Okay. And husband and spouse both can register as, as well, even though they have the same address. Uh, the names will be different. They can't. One phone number. Just so, one phone number. So if they have different cell phones, just put your cell phone in. As long as they're different cell phones, one per day. Okay. Sounds simple enough. So look at uh, care.coop and is right. find the businesses, get registered, and then go back to see on Friday if you've won. All right. Anything else you'd like to add before we close? I don't think so. I think um, we're just excited about Co-op Month and PTCI and TCEC partnering up to help our local communities. All right. Julianne, Elizabeth, appreciate you coming in. Thank you for having Thank us. You. You bet. We'll be back. Stay tuned. You've been listening to live from Broadcast Square on Talk Radio 1270. Comments expressed by guests, listeners, and the host do not necessarily reflect the opinion of Seward County Broadcasting Company, Incorporated.